right then. We're almost there with 13 minutes away yeah. from getting your last Audi parked. How does yeah. it feel? Two and a half hour drive to go and get this bonnet, but it's going to be worth it at the end of the day because it's black. All the other bonnets that I found were uh, different colours. It just there's going to be a lot of money to paint them, so it's just yeah, it's worth it for me. So yeah, let's uh, see how it is. Beats down, I can get another car because it's raining. We've actually had to borrow our friend's car because the hood is so big. I was just talking to my fan, sorry. Right. Let's go. Parts in the car. Sorted now. This uh, this bonnet does need a bit of TLC. I'll show you a lot tomorrow whenever we get home. Needs a bit of body work, but it was cheap and it started off the same colour as my car, so... Black. Yeah, it's going to make my life a lot easier in the long run. We're going to need to put a stripe on it though, possibly. Yeah, potentially have to put a stripe on it, because I'm growing fond of that stripe, I like it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's get it home. I want Alright, show me that bag again. What have we got in there? Mmm, some goodies, yeah. Right guys, we're back with the Audi. Six hour trip for the bonnet to get here. And guess what? It's the wrong bonnet. Of course it is. It's not the right bonnet. So, um, I'm going to go through and show you why it's the wrong bonnet. But, once again, another mistake. My next biggest mistake. My next biggest mistake. <laughs> so I've just brought the bonnet back to the back garden so I can show you guys exactly why it doesn't fit. There's a few different things that have to line up in order for the bonnet to fit. So that's the bumper, the headlights, and the grill. And to show you why it doesn't match up, I'm gonna get the grill. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so if we test this out, if we test this out on the old bonnet, I'll show you how it's meant to fit. So when you put the grill up to the bonnet, you can see that it's not meant to be a gap in between the grill and the bonnet. It all lines up to the curves. So putting this up to the new bonnet, the grill doesn't match up on either side here. So you can see there's a gap there and a gap on the other side. Yikes. So yeah, doesn't fit. So I think for now, we're gonna try and slightly fix up the old bonnet that's a bit mashed up, take the dents out slightly and fit it onto the car until we can find a new bonnet. My A5 being the facelift, it's quite hard to find parts for the car. And if I do, they're all around the country and we've already traveled six hours to get the wrong one that we were sold. So yeah, it's just been a nightmare getting facelift parts and especially the bonnet. So we're gonna deal with the old bonnet and maybe we can get someone to fix it up. So yeah, we'll see. If you know anyone in West Sussex that yeah. could uh, do the final bits for us, it's up. So the seat belts are jammed from the crash obviously, so we're going to have to get these out. These panels just come off on the back seats and this panel will come off afterwards. And then there's a bolt down at the bottom that holds the bottom end of the uh, seat belt in. And then uh, replace it with a new one that isn't jammed, so let's do it. So that bolts out now, comes with a spacer, and that's where it slots into, at the bottom of the seat belt. Okay, so I've just had to take this panelling out here at the back. Basically that reveals a bolt down here that holds the mechanism for the seat belt on, and you just have to kind of slide this panel upwards and get into it down here. That's the bolt out. There's another connector around the back, I've just seen. And that's out. There we go. That was one connector. That was the other one. Hey. Right, so now I'm just going to unbolt with the top there, I think. There we go. 
that's the seatbelt out there. Not too shabby. Now we can get the new ones in when they arrive, so yeah. Okay, so I've just taken out the old curtain airbag, um, as you can see, completely deployed, and this is the new one that's gonna go in. Now these clips that go into the ceiling of the car, they're quite difficult to get out, I'll see on this one. Um, I thought that you had to pry at the two edge, those two fat clips in there, but, so what you've actually got to do is get a set of skinny pliers, and uh, just poke into the holes like that and then you squeeze them together and then uh, it closes it up on the other side and then you can uh, pull it out. So yeah, that was quite smart. Right, time to get the new one in. Got the curtain airbag bolted in now, just need to clip it into the ceiling of the car. Let's have a look. There we go, I just need to screw it in. Again. Next up, we've got to secure this frame down. The bolts are in lightly, so I've just got to tighten them up. I've also got to install the bracket that connects the wing to the frame, to the chassis, so let's do that. So when fixing the frame, um, I had to measure it up to the airbox as well because the bracket's got to fit on the side of the frame. And it's actually a little bit off, so I'm going to just have to straighten the frame up from the side, from the inside of the engine side, and straighten it up, and then hopefully we'll get it fitting nicely on the airbox. So let me show you now. Okay, so as you can see from here, this front of the airbox is meant to fit nicely in here with this rubber bracket. Um, but it's meant to be on there like that, straight, but it's actually sideways. So what I'm gonna do is take out this bracket, straighten up the frame a bit. As you can see, it's a little bit um, crooked. So we're gonna straighten that up and then it will bring the bracket back towards the airbox and then we'll fit it back on straight. So let's do that. Frame secured down now pretty well. It's all tight and it's not scraping against the door or anything. Also got the uh, wheel arch liner in there. Gonna need a few more clips to pop on, as you know they always break when you take them off. But it's screwed in anyway. Just need a few clips and then we're done. Now we're gonna move on to the headlight brackets and the headlights and try and fit it all back together. So let's go.
Right, so I've just got round to fit in the headlight here. It's all fitting up pretty well. Um, all in with the brackets behind it. And I've also got round to fit in the driver's side bracket, brand new here. It's looking pretty clean. I've got the headlight indoors, so I need to bring that out and put it on there. Now, with regards to the wiring loom, part of the wiring loom is um, broken, which I mentioned in a previous video. So basically what I was planning to do was using the snapped wiring loom to reconnect all of the parts here into the old one. However, as you can see on the wiring loom, all of these connectors are pretty much crushed and broken. Um, apart from, I believe this one is the airbag sensor. So it looks like I'm going to have to get a whole new wiring loom and recrimp it and resolder it. Um, yeah to the old wiring loom so we're gonna have to wait on that before I can fit that there we go so the new headlight is on here now and it is sparkling now the only problem I have is that the other headlight is actually tinted I'm not sure if you can see on here um, so what I'm gonna do is take this tint off and have them both without tin and then if I want to tint it in the future I can and then I can have the same tint on either side but yeah that's on there now so pretty good that we got this on there now. Um, gonna get the bumper out here and hopefully try and fit it all up together. The only problem I've had is this bracket here for the headlight is broken. So we're gonna need a new bracket that holds it down here and gonna need a bracket for it here as well. So yeah, anyway, let's get the bumper out here and um, fit it on here, let's take a look. Okay, we're back with the front bumper. And if you have a keen eye like I am, you can probably tell it's a slightly different colour to the rest of the car. <laughs> We've got a white front bumper, it's the S-Line, it's got the RS front grilles, and obviously for the front grille, I'm going to reuse the old bump, uh, the one that came with the car, so it was an RS5 front grille. Um, so this bumper has got a few nicks to it, I don't know if it can show up on camera, but um, yeah, it's, got, it's going to need repainting and probably... Um, fill a primer to get all these little niggly bits out of the bumper and fill them up um, so that we get a smooth finish on the paint job but for now I'm just going to fit it onto the car and uh, make sure that it fits up all right and yeah see how it goes so let's do that Right, the bumper's fitted quite loosely now, but it's on there, it's looking pretty good. Just wanted to put it on there to make sure they're all fit and all lined up, and it does. Um, there's quite a few little bolts and brackets missing from it, so I'm gonna have to source them and get them on there for when I painted the bumper and it goes back on. I'm kind of liking this look of two-tone, the white and black. I don't know if I want to keep it like that. What do you reckon, man? Should we keep it white and black? Do you like it? I mean, apart from the fact that it's not fitted on properly, I think it looks quite cool, white and black, now. If you're gonna think you're serious. Yeah, that's because I am. I'm just gonna start the car up for a little bit because I haven't run it in a while. I wanna just get the uh, the engine running for a bit and get the alternator pump in that battery. He just wants to show off. No, I right. just wanna make sure that, you know, when I move the car back and forward that the bumper can handle it, do you know what I mean? Hmm. <laughs> Great idea by car. They don't have this for a reason, do they? Mm. Does it look like, like the two-tone colour? Keep it black and white? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? The more I work on the car, the more I find out what things or what features this car has. And something that's just really enjoyable is the fact that the steering wheel is like adjustable, not just up and down, but in and out. So if you, if Maddie's going to learn to drive in my car, <laughs> which she's not, 
Wow, all the work I've put in. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll see. But look, this, uh, this steering wheel goes in and out and up and down. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good though. It's perfect for me. Cockpit. Yeah. Wait. Okay. One other thing that uh, is kind of bugging me. So when I put the seat belts, when I replaced the seat belts the other day in the car, I went to test them out in the passenger seat, and for some odd reason, this car doesn't come with a buckle for the passenger seat belt. They look, there is just literally nothing down there. Want to plug it in? There's just no, no visible sign of it. I've looked underneath the chair. I've looked behind the chair. I've looked down the side. I'm just so confused why there isn't a seat belt buckle. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like. When they crashed, was someone sitting in there and pulled it out from the force of the impact, or like were they doing something dodgy with it? I literally have no clue. But so it means that you're gonna have to take the seat out to yeah, install it. Yeah, it's a know. bit like it's not an expensive problem, but once again, it's a time-consuming problem. So a new seatbelt buckle or another seatbelt buckle will be about 20 quid. Um, I'm just gonna need to take the whole seat out and everything, and uh, and yeah, put it on. I'm hoping that it didn't get trapped underneath the uh, centre console or something stupid like that when um, I was doing the dashboard, but it's pretty impossible, isn't it? Pray for Paddy. Yeah, pretty peak battery. Uh -huh. Right, we're going to end the video there. Yeah. We're going to end the video there, guys. Front end is looking pretty good now. And hopefully in the next video, we're going to be sorting out the bonnet and... Um, yeah, maybe painting the bumper as well, back to black unless I want to keep it white, but I don't know, I'm kind of liking this white. Maybe make the roof white as well, makes the mirrors white, I don't know, what do you think? I think that you will not get your return on your investment if you do that, <laughs> put it nicely. Investment, yeah, we'll see about that investment when I finish off this car. Right, see you guys in the next video, adios.